Just gonna mention what the, how I apply the arm triangle. Okay. So let's start on the half guard test. I will show first the half guard half guard defense. So I cross his arm. Many different ways to do that. I don't wanna get in that. And then my elbow come really close to his neck. A lot of people like to hold the bicep, hold the head and squeeze like that. On the half guard problem, it's not going to work really good. The way I like to do is I hold my hand with this stem finger grip and then I sprawl. Okay, and I stay here. I keep squeezing and I keep my position for as long as stay. Okay, so if you grab like that and you go under your opponent, you have a very, very powerful choke. Much better than this one where you almost apply a neck crank and you guys gonna understand, especially on the side control, why you should not do that. So, that's, that being said, the guy get me on the half guard, okay? So, what you guys gonna do here, like people like to put the hand on the ear or do stuff like that, that stuff will give you an extra second but will not take you away from this position. Okay, you'll not be able to escape just because you're there unless the guy is really dying tired. So what you guys are gonna do, so you can do this or here. What I need you guys to do is figure four and stretch your leg. You see how I, even the way I speak is different? Because now I bring his shoulder lower. Okay, so I will hold his shoulder, get my hand in here, so it's, it's defended already. Okay, so he comes in here, look how he chokes me, it's just like a triangle, okay? So his arm, it's like his leg around my neck, okay? And as he press with his, his head, he closed on the other side. And he keep it and the pressure gets so big, I have to, to tap the leg. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I have to do is release the pressure. So the pressure is all on his shoulder. The moment I bring his shoulder lower, I will be fine. Okay? It's not just pushing his head away. If his shoulder stays here, he's still choking me. Okay? So, still pressure. So, the easiest way is figure four and stretch his leg. It doesn't matter if you figure four through outside or through inside. Okay? As long as you figure four, his shoulder comes low and he has no pressure. Now what I do? I hold his shoulder and pull him down. Because I don't want him to clear his leg and come back putting pressure. No, no. And come back and press him again. So, once I figure four, I bring his, I keep holding his shoulder down, forcing my elbow towards the ground. And my fight now will be turning inside and get my hand, my elbow on the ground again, my arm on the ground again. So if I'm here, I'm fine. I'm going to escape to his back if he keeps this position. Now he has to, he's defending, not me anymore. Okay, or he can keep forcing some kind of side choke, but... I have a lot of tools here to escape to his back. Okay, so very simple technique. You, fi you figure four and stretch. Pull his elbow down, start to force your hand on the other side, and clear your neck. Okay? Let's do this a little bit. 